Hi, welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Lee Newton. I know where imagination comes from. No, not from fairy tales or tiny dream bugs or, you know, your mind's eye or past lives or whatever. Although those do actually sound like way cooler explanations. And a solid setup for a children's book, right? Get on it, Rowling. But it turns out that science has figured it out again. Science! God, you never let me down. Except for that whole uh, everybody slowly dying. Figure that part out, please. Okay? But researchers in the U.S. say that the ability to create art invent tools think scientifically comes from a neural network that spreads across a large area of the brain. You heard it here first, okay? Boom! Imagination comes from the brain. Oh, source pet drop in knowledge! Wait, what? Keep reading? Fair enough, okay. The scientific team from Dartmouth described the network as your head noodle's mental workspace, where a person is able to manipulate images, ideas, theories, you know, the things that let you think up the half brontosaurus, half elephant. The Elosaurus. Duh. And why is this cool? Well, aside from it possibly leading scientists to reproduce a similar creative process in artificial intelligence, it also leads us closer to understanding how our brain sets us apart from other species, like the Elosaurus. And like I said before, understanding this internal playground that allows us to think freely and creatively is exactly what's going to allow us to recreate it in robots. Oh, God, no. It's actually really terrifying when you think about it, like, because you think, like, that's the only thing that sets us apart is, like, it's like free will and, and like, and love and imagination and, like, oh, no. I know, it's all close in If you imagine it, like, he's, he's an artist robot, that doesn't work out, right? He's a hipster robot because he could think, he could think free, really? Oh, it doesn't even make sense. It's like a Philip K. Dick novel, only horrible. No, in fairness, I haven't read that many Philip K. Dick novels, and I, I hear that a lot of people are on the fence about him. It's like a Michael Crichton novel. <laughs> Think about it, though. I can't. We're all gonna die. Lee! Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, so guys, are you terrified about the idea that robots are eventually gonna take over our life and also be creative and have imagination now? Let us know in the comment section down below, and of course, click that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Click the sanitation and head on over to sourcefed.com. I'm Lee Newton. I'm gonna put this out there right now on the internet. I love all robots. <laughs>